and welcome to News Updates on Housing TV Africa. I am Imina Bagudu. A quick look at the headlines. FCT Minister warns contractors against substandard work. Canada allocates $362.4 million in new funding to support asylum claimants' housing. Now the news in details. The Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Nisam Wike, has cautioned contractors in the nation's capital, emphasizing the need for them to repay funds for any substandard project work. Wike made these remarks during the flag of event in Pei Konkori Community, Guagolede Area Council of the FCT, recently. He said the road project is part of the planned construction of 30 kilometer roads across the six area councils of the FCT. The minister assured the availability of funds for these projects while urging contractors to deliver high-quality work, adding that he will visit project sites to ascertain the quality and pace of the work. In other news, the Minister of Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship, Canada, has revealed a new funding initiative of $362.4 million to bluster housing support for asylum claimants. Mark Miller disclosed the funding allocation for the Interim Housing Assistance Program within the framework of the 2023-2024 to fiscal year. Of the total amount, Quebec is slated to receive $100 million. Earlier, Premier Francois Ligua of Quebec had sought $470 million in federal aid to manage the surge of asylum seekers. This is supplementary to the $220 million in national funding allocated through IHAP in the summer of 2023. I have offers cost-sharing financial support to provisional and municipal governments to address exceptional pressures on interim housing resulting from a rise in the number of asylum claimants. Let's take a quick break and we'll be back with a story from China. Stay with us. Thank you AIHS for the opportunity of this exhibition. It was a nice uh, experience. I would like to uh, make it again. Thank you AIHS. Thank you so much. Thank you everyone. Thank you AIHS. Thank you AIHS. Welcome back. Now in China, the People's Bank of China injected 150 billion yuan in low-cost funds dedicated to financing housing and infrastructure projects last month, intensifying its backings of the economy. According to a central bank statement on Thursday, the astounding amount of the PBOX pledged supplemental lending program to policy-oriented banks reached 3.4 trillion yuan at the end of January. This is viewed as a crucial instrument for Beijing in shoring up the economy amid the most severe property downtown on record. The PSL program involves providing affordable central bank funds to policy banks. These funds are intended for lending to projects and offering potential relief to the decline in construction activities. To end the news, here is a recap of the stories. FCT Minister Nisam Wike wants contractors in the city capital to repay funds for substandard project work. We also told you that the Canadian Minister of Immigration announces $362.4 million in new funding to enhance housing support for asylum claimants. 
For more news in the housing sector, do subscribe to our YouTube channel, Housing TV Africa. You can also follow us on all of our social media handles. I am Mimana Bagudu. Thanks for watching.